hello you guys welcome and welcome back to the underground we are going to do another reading for you guys to see what the messages are i hope you guys are doing well thank you so much for your support as always you guys be sure to like the video subscribe share the video with someone who you think may need to hear it also put your comments below all right if the reading is resonating put a purple heart or any of your favorite color hearts thank you all so much for supporting the channel you guys thank you so much for donating to the building fund i am trying to get out of this situation with my landlord right now we working things are moving and shaking and your donations are making a difference so if you would like to donate i'm doing a raffle well is it a raffle? Is it called a raffle? But yeah, I'm raffling off three free readings. I'm going to anonymous. I'm a, <laughs> I'll be tongue twisted, y'all. I'm going to anonymously pull names out of a bowl or a hat. And three people are going to get free readings on me, depending on how much you donate. That will determine how many name uh, entries you get into the raffle. So that's just a little give back for y'all. For looking out for your girl okay and if you do donate anonymously email me at the email in the description box below and put building fund in the subject line so that i know you want to be entered into the raffle okay but today you guys we are going to be doing let me get my phone hold on because i got it written down y'all know i'll be forgetting the spots so i got it written down we're gonna do a reading to see what's being hidden from you okay what you need to know when it comes to love, what could be being hidden from you when it comes to the people or person who you are dealing with at this time. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, King of Wands was at the bottom. But let's go ahead and get into it. So what's being hidden from you that you should know? Who's hiding this from you? Why are they hiding it from you? Their next actions, unexpected things and the advice oh spirit might be telling you to go somebody leave their ass in the dust <laughs> leave them in the dust nah but we're we gonna see what's going on because the advice is the five of pentacles interesting i really feel like your advice in this situation whatever we talk about spirit really wants you to know not to fall victim to your insecurities they basically want you to know not to let your insecurities like hold you back in in this situation period there's definitely a fire sign that's hiding something from you could be an aries leo or sagittarius and we're gonna see what it is but you have the seven of cups at the bottom so there could be a lot of options some of you could be dating multiple people there could be a lot of confusion and then you have the four of wands at the back of the deck so let's get into it y'all getting into some things <laughs> mm, somebody's afraid i feel like somebody's afraid to tell you something so what's being hidden from you that you that you should know is the page of cups so there may be someone who's more curious about you than what you really think. Um, someone may feel like you're being delusional or they may be delusional themselves or in their head. Like I kind of get this vibe that there's somebody in the clouds and it's a water sign. So it could be a Scorpio, a Cancer or a Pisces. However, if you are any of those signs, someone could feel like you're confused. They could feel like you're delusional. They, they may feel like your head is in the clouds. But in reality, it could be them. We're going to clarify that. Now, who's hiding this from you? It's a page of wands. So this could be somebody younger than you or less mature than you. Definitely could be a fire sign energy. With these two cards, though, I feel like this person is very curious about you. Like, I don't know who exactly this is or what their relationship level is with you, but they're very curious about, like, I feel finding out more about who you are someone could be doing a little bit of investigation a little bit of like daydreaming okay but i definitely feel this vibe where either they're in the clouds and they're not really telling you what their true like mindset is you can't really tell or maybe they're not telling you or it's like they feel like you're doing that now why they're hiding this from you is the four of cups someone is like mm. someone could also be hiding that they met someone new and not really telling you about it. Um, but this could also be a new person who you just met as well. 
But I feel like whatever they're hiding from you when it comes to this page of cups is something that they don't necessarily want you to know. It's like something that they're not proud of, something that they don't feel good about with the four of cups, something that they feel like you would disapprove of. Okay. Mm. Their next actions are the two of wands. And I feel like this is because they're trying to make a decision. So somebody's trying to make a decision about what their next move is going to be, how they're going to handle the situation. And then what's unexpected what or possibly what could be hidden is the King of Cups. So maybe you don't see that there's this King of Cups coming into your energy, coming into your force field. You're drawing them in. All right. But let's see. I'm going to clarify these. Let's see. Let's get the little purple deck. And then y'all know we're going to pull some oracles later. Okay, so y'all be sure to like the video. Be sure to engage. So what's being hidden from me is the Page of Cups. I feel like someone's hiding their mindset from you. Could be feelings as well. What is this Page of Cups? What is this Page of Cups for what's being hidden from the collective? Oh my God. Queen of Swords. It was flopping around, but we're going we're gonna to leave her upright. Mm. Ooh, I just heard something. The lovers is at the bottom and the, and the moon. I feel like they're hiding their feelings from you because they don't want you to know. Somebody's hiding their feelings from you. They don't want you to know. Someone feels really drawn to you. I feel like someone could have also also like seen you in their dreams. Oh my God, I told you. Devil and the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody could have seen you in a dream or had a dream about you and they're not telling you about it. There could also be someone here who's kind of just confused about their feelings, but it's like, I feel like they're pushing their feelings down, deep down, like in, in the depths of their soul. Like when they're alone, they think about you. Somebody's extremely attracted to you. Somebody may also want to have a baby with you. It's or or whatever, you know, whoever you are. I feel like someone is It it's hard it's kind of hard to tell because this page of cups, it just feels like someone doesn't know how much you're willing to invest or they're not sure how much they're willing to invest. The Queen of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. I also feel like someone is curious about like what you do for work. I feel like there's a person who you're dealing with who doesn't want you to know how attracted they are to you. They don't want you to know how deep their feelings go for you. Oh my God. <laughs> Why all these cards just flipped out? <laughs> oh wow. The Six of Wands reverse. The Chariot reverse. Knight of Wands, Ace of Cups, Two of Swords. Yeah. Either they don't know exactly how they feel about you because I feel like they may be in denial or they don't want you to know how much they feel for you. Someone is working on something. I feel like someone is nervous that if they come towards you, it won't be successful. So that could be why I feel like someone wants to come towards you with the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Cups. They want to come towards you, but I also feel like they're not coming towards you because maybe they think that you're giving someone else attention or maybe they're giving someone else attention. It's kind of like unclear. We're going to we're going to keep clarifying. Y'all know how we do. What's the page of wands for who this person is? It's reversed. Seven of wands. So this is somebody who's trying to see how it would be if they let their guard down. Five of wands, eight of pentacles. I don't know what it is about this person's job or your job. Maybe they feel like your jobs conflict. Maybe they feel like you're not letting your guard down. You're hiding something. Somebody is taking their sweet ass time. Like they're just in the clouds daydreaming. They're taking their sweet time. They're kind of feeling like there's mixed signals. I feel like that with this seven of cups, it kind of feels like there's mixed signals when it comes to a relationship. I do feel like somebody is either curious about what a relationship would be like with you or they're like daydreaming about it. 
but either they feel mixed signals from you or they're sending you mixed signals. Yeah, what's the seven of wands reversed? Four of cups. What? Knight of cups and the moon. Yeah, they got some hidden feelings. Mm-hmm. Four of wands, ace of wands. Ooh. What's the four of cups, seven of wands reversed and the page of wands? Five of pentacles, look. Both of these cards, interesting. So whoever this person is, I feel like they know that you could literally stop fighting for this at any moment. I also feel like this is a person who may be like the type of person to kind of like go ghost and not be seen for a while because... They don't hear from you. So it's like, it kind of feels like somebody is drawing conclusions in a situation. Be mindful. I feel like somebody could be dealing with another person at the same time and they don't know what to do. Like they may have met someone in the midst of like getting to know you. So it kind of feels like this person is making a choice between two different people. I'm telling y'all straight up, this is what's being hidden from you that you need to know. So if you know that somebody is dealing with another person, they may have met you and you could be the catalyst to having them kind of be in this state of confusion where they don't know if they want to deal with the person who they've been dealing with, or they don't know if they want to start maybe being more serious about you. If they've been serious about you, they may be hiding the fact that they've met someone new. It's like whatever they're holding back, I feel like they are really treading on thin ice because whoever this is knows that you can kind of figure out what they're hiding. So they're being really strategic or careful about what it is that they say, what it is that they do. Okay. Now. Why they're hiding this, the Four of Cups. Why is this person hiding this from the collective? Seven of Swords. Because <laughs> they're sneaking around. They don't want you to find out. Mm-hmm. Temperance and the Queen of Cups. They're trying to balance two different situations. So this could be somebody who's definitely got a third party. What's the Seven of Swords, Four of Cups? The Death card. And the Knight of Cups. Now, this could also be a situation, okay? So, because, hold up. Hold up, swallow up. This could also be a situation where you have several people and this person knows about it, okay? You could have different people who you're talking to or different people that this person sees are interested in you. And they may be like, mm, they may be feeling like you might not really want to deal with them. Like, they don't know if... You got someone else you're dealing with. They may feel like things are changing between the two of you and that you're not as open with them as you used to be and they don't like it, but they're not telling you that because it, it shows like insecurity. And I feel like this person doesn't want to, they don't want you to see this part of them. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Strength card and the five of wands, Leo energy, Scorpio energy, Capricorn Possibly Sagittarius, Aries, Cancer. So get me like, you got to understand, take it how it resonates. But either someone's feelings are starting to change towards you and they're pulling away. And it's because they've met someone else or they're curious about someone or something else. Or they feel this shift happening with you. And they're like kind of panicking a little bit because they feel like you may be interested in someone else or dealing with someone else or that you may have met someone who kind of like piques your attention more than them or monopolizes more of your time than they do. Whoever this is, they're hiding this from you because they're trying to control their feelings. Someone feels really disappointed either in themselves for not telling you the truth or they feel disappointed that you're interested in another person or that another person is, you know, stealing. They feel like another person is stealing your attention away from them. There's competition. 
they may not want to argue with you if this is something that they're doing behind your back. But I also feel if if this is something that this person is doing behind your back, they kind of know that something might be tit for tat between the two of you. Like, they don't want you to find out. If this is a person who's doing this behind your back, they don't want you to find out about it because they know that you will easily, like, at the snap of a finger, get somebody else. And they don't want to, I feel like whoever this is doesn't want to lose you. I feel like whoever this is is confused about your feelings towards them. Even though they really should, I feel like they should know how you feel and where you stand. But I feel like it's their own insecurities. It's not necessarily anything that you're doing. And if this is someone who's dating you and they're worried about you kind of like entertaining other people. I just feel like this person doesn't want you to know how much you have their heart. Like they don't want you to know how serious they feel about you because they feel like you could just easily kind of like walk away. All right. <laughs> so their next actions is two of wands. What is this two of wands? Six of pentacles. Yeah, they're, they're having to make a choice. Mm -hmm. Somebody is deciding whether or not they're going to stay where they're at or if they're going to do something new. So place yourself, but that's what it is. They're trying to make a decision. If they're, if you're the person who they've been with, they're trying to decide if they're going to stay with you or to move on to something new. If you're the new person or you're the person who's just popping up and they already have a situation, they're trying to decide, like you've got this person questioning their relationship. Like, I feel like somebody could be in a relationship and they're confused about it. Mm -hmm. And there's the page of wands. They're trying to make this decision because they're really curious about a new situation. So I'm sorry if this is your person and you've been dating them. They may be straying away. But I feel like for a lot of you, you're single. I'm picking up on majority of y'all who are single and you're with a person who's like new in your life or you're getting to know them. And they're self-conscious because they know that you're single and they know that you're attractive and they know that you have someone else or they feel like you have someone else. Okay. Yep. Six of Pentacles, six of swords, queen of wands. I'm telling you, this person knows that you are confident. They know that you're beautiful, handsome, beautiful, you're beautiful. You're handsome. You're a good catch. Like beyond that. And they know that you might move on from them. And it's funny because what's hidden is this King of Cups. So I think that whatever, whatever they're, <laughs> whatever they're a little self-conscious about, they actually have valid reasons for being self-conscious because maybe you told them that you're dating. Maybe you told them that you're not going to be exclusive. Maybe you told them that, you know, I don't know. It could have been a situation where maybe they wanted to do something with you and then you, you weren't available and they could be assuming that you're not available because you're doing something with somebody else. You may have been completely transparent with them and told them that you're dating other people. But something about you and the the caliber of like material, the dating material that's out there and what you bring to the situation when they feel their feelings for you, it's like they're self-conscious about you moving on. Yep. They're, they're self-conscious about you finding someone else or someone else coming towards you that possibly even has more than what they have. They're trying to figure out whoever this person is. It's like they're trying to figure out what you're doing when you're not around them. Nosy. They could be watching you online. They don't want you to know. All right, so what's this King of Cups when it comes to what's hidden? Queen of Cups. Ooh, Ten of Swords, Two of Swords. Yeah, this person, look, and then the King and the Queen of Cups. So I feel like what you don't see is that if things don't work out with this person, there is going to be someone else coming towards you. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. For sure. I feel like there's a strong Scorpio, possibly Cancer, and Pisces. But there's a water sign possibly coming towards you that's going to be very similar to you. And you don't see this coming.
And I feel like this person is worried about this. Because they know, I feel like maybe this person could have done something. Like, I don't know if they're causing delays with the Seven of Pentacles. It's, they're moving really slow towards you. And you see that they're not that serious. Maybe they're not that serious intentionally. Maybe they want you to think that they're more serious than they are. But whoever this is, they don't like, they have a fear of abandonment. They don't like being alone or they don't like feeling insecure about connections. They don't like knowing that you could walk away at any moment. They don't. It makes them, it, it makes them very infantile. Not necessarily childish, but I feel like it brings them back to a point in their childhood where they felt abandoned by people. And they feel like you have that power over them. And I don't think they want you to know that you have that power. Yep, because you had the eight of cups. Six of six of wands and the eight of cups. And we already have the six of pentacles and the six of swords. I feel like someone is worried about you walking away from them. They may be from your past. Or they're worried about someone from your past coming back. So take it how it resonates. Because I'm not sure exactly like where this reading stands. It kind of feels like either you're dealing with somebody and they're meeting somebody new and they're kind of lying about it. But what you don't know is that if they're doing this to you and they're betraying you, they're going to feel really bad about it. Because it's going to come a time where you meet someone else. And it could be sooner than you think. And it's like the tables are going to turn. But if it's like a non-serious situation and you're just dating somebody and whether they're from your past or they're a new person, they're worried about someone else coming in. Like if they're a new person, they may be worried about your ex coming back or your past coming back. And it kind of makes them feel insecure. Or if they're like someone from your past that's trying to like rekindle something with you, they're worried about you meeting somebody new who you feel like is better than them. And then basically like leaving them in the dust. That's what it feels like to me. What's your advice with this five of pentacles? Ten of cups. Yeah, will of fortune. I'm telling you the table's going to turn. Some of you are being advised not to take on this person's dead weight. Like some of you are being advised to look out for yourself to do what it is that you want to do. If they confuse you too much or if you have to guess all the time. Spirit is telling you that there's somebody better coming in that you don't see. And they're telling you pretty much not to take on this person's baggage because it's their baggage that they have to deal with. Like, if you don't really pay too much attention to this person, I feel like they're going to start coming towards you. Like, if you just focus on your own shit, if you focus on your own goals, if you focus on healing and whatever it is that you want to do, this person is going to come towards you. They're going to be like, possibly a third wheel or they're going to be you may see them differently because they're going to see you differently and it's like the dynamics are going to flip okay what else with this five of pentacles the page of wands i'm telling you I just feel like spirit really doesn't want you to take on anyone else's baggage. Yeah, I feel like whatever choice that they have to make right now that they're trying to make, you're going to be the one ultimately who makes the final decision. You may be confused about moving forward, but if you feel like this person is ghosting you, if you feel like they're abandoning you, if you feel like they aren't like present in the connection... Spirit is telling you, like, move on because there's somebody you can expect someone else to come and offer you more. And it's going to be a shift. And it's like you're going to realize how little that you were getting from whoever this is. That's really what it feels like to me. Let me see. Let us see right quick what else we can get. Thank you so much again, you guys, for your support. Y'all be sure to like the video. What's being hidden? They're watching you look. Sunglasses. Watching, looking, perception, stalking. So the perception that this person gets from you is that you have a lot of people on you. But I don't even think you like that, though. 
I don't even think you're like that. I feel like what spirit wants you to do is make sure you maintain your confidence because you don't realize how confident you look from the outside looking in. You don't realize how much people think a certain thing about you and you may not feel that about yourself. So it's like, I feel like spirit wants you not to be weak. They want you not to be weak in a situation. Look, it came up again. They want you to make sure that you maintain your own like level of confidence and don't settle for whatever scrap somebody's trying to give you or whatever lies they might be trying to tell you. Because somebody's definitely lying. Why is hidden is the Seven of Swords clarifying the Four of Cups. Somebody's feelings are changing. And they're trying to figure out what they're going to do without letting you know. So either they're trying to figure out what they're going to do about their current situation because you've come in and you've changed their mind. Or they're trying to figure out what they're going to do between the two of you because they've met somebody else. And, you know, it may be drawing them to possibly lie. Okay. What's being hidden from the collective spirit? What's being hidden? Oh, my God. Love call. Expressing love. Message of love. Thinking of you. Informing you. So somebody's going to reach out and let you know how they feel. Phoenix. New phase. Rekindle. Renew. And growth. Changing mind. Changed mind. See, that's what. Look. That's that Knight of Cups and that Death card. Rise from the ashes. Ooh, and backstabbing. And that's the Seven of Swords and that Ten of Swords. Heartbreaking pain, separation and loss, deception and lies, shocking attack. Wow. So some of you, it could be reconciliation. Some of you, it could be you meeting someone new. Some of you, it could be somebody who wants to reconcile with you, but you're also meeting somebody new and it's a choice. What else is being hidden from the collective? Okay, the runner, fear of intimacy, running away, intensity, and letting go, turmoil, fleeting. What's being hidden from the collective spirit? Sword in the rose, clarity and truth, revelations, honor and protection, determination. And then clock, needing time, cycles, takes time, time to heal, progressing, progressing. Backstabbing again. So someone's getting stabbed in the back. Either this person is stabbing you in the back because they met someone else or they're doing something behind your back. Or they're stabbing someone else in the back because they want to deal with you instead of the other person. Or you're going to choose to deal with somebody new or somebody else and they're feeling stabbed in the back by you. Wow. You may be seeing someone clearly. You may be seeing someone clearly when it comes to them, like running from this situation, running from you. We have mirror. Mm, so it means that it could be happening on both ends. Interesting. You could have somebody trying to reconcile with you and they're dealing with somebody else, but because they feel like there might be un unfinished business or something like that, they may be trying to reconcile with you and they could be backstabbing somebody else, but then you might end up deciding that you don't want to reconcile with them and they may feel backstabbed and it's like that mirror image but it says mirroring each other self-reflection introspection inner wounds mm. this person feels like they need time to make this decision this could have definitely happened in aries season or an aries could be involved i also feel like there's definitely a scorpio or a cancer a capricorn a leo Maybe even a Sagittarius, but I'm not getting that as much. It feels like water and fire. Possibly Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's this runner? Two of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, somebody knows that they have to drop someone. Nine of Cups, yeah. Whoever this is, somebody's, whoever's been running, they're realizing what they really want and they have to drop. So there's definitely like a third party situation either on your end or their end. Definitely. Cause you got the two of wands. We have the two of pinnacles out here, two of swords and the seven of swords. It's like, yeah. Hmm. 
Whoever this is, somebody's realizing who they want. And they're going to run away from one person to go to the other. What's the sword in the rose? Nine of swords. Yeah. Mm, nine of pentacles. Ace of pentacles. I feel like somebody is choosing someone new. Or they're choosing the new, the new person. Page of pentacles. High priestess and the nine of swords. Yeah, there's some, there's going to be something that confirms your intuition. I feel like who there's going to be somebody who reaches out to you. I'm not sure where you stand. So wherever you resonate with this, you're going to get a phone call about someone's decision. They're about to call you and tell you what decision that they've made. Yeah, eight of wands and the emperor. They're about to call you and tell you what decision that they made. And the confirmation is going to be clear. So even though it may be hurtful, depending on where you stand, it's going to give you peace because you're going to understand what's been really going on. I felt like for a few days I needed to do this reading for real. What's this love call? Love call. Love call. There's the six of cups. Yep. Somebody from your past is about to reach out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like the tables are turning with the past. Somebody's about to reach out. Ooh, and the six of wands. Look at that. All the sixes. So somebody could be born in June. So that could be Gemini or Cancer. This could also be happening in June. I feel like somebody's going to reach out in June. They're going to take a leap of faith to have success with the person who they want to have success with. They've been holding, if this is somebody from your past that wants to reconcile, they've been holding on to you for a long time. What's the six of wands, six of cups, and the love call? Two of Cups. I'm telling you. Somebody enjoys talking to you as well, possibly on the phone, or they enjoy the conversation that you guys have. Yeah, they're going to come towards you and communicate their intentions. I feel like the Six of Wands can be attention or recognition, but I feel like it's intentions. Yeah, Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords. They're about to tell you what's going on. For sure. What's this clock? They don't want to betray. I feel like somebody is feeling guilty though. With the Seven of Swords and the Four of Cups, they they don't necessarily like that their feelings have changed. Or they may just at this particular moment when I'm picking up on the energy, they may not be completely sure if this is a good decision. What's the clock? The moon. So this could be about the full moon. Or somebody needs time to, like, understand their feelings. Yeah, King of Cups. But in the time that it takes this person to decide, you might meet someone else. Someone else. See, they better stop fucking around. Yep, Hierophant. Somebody's going to offer commitment. They secretly want to do this, but they're trying to understand their feelings. Yeah, Two of Wands, I'm telling you. Eight of Pentacles. Somebody wants to work on something with you. And they're trying to understand their feelings for sure. And I also feel like if they're stabbing somebody in the back, they know that they're going to hurt somebody. So, unfortunately, it could be that somebody's going to do this to you. And they really don't want to hurt you. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, this could be someone new that you just met. Or it could be somebody who wants to reconcile with you. And there's been a lot of, like, time since you've talked to this person or there's been a lot of like delays in this connection, but they know that they're going to end up hurting somebody. We had a seven of swords out here, seven of pentacles, seven of wands right there is reversed. And we have the seven of cups over there in the other deck. I just feel like whoever this is, they're very confused about what to do. What's an important time frame when it comes to these messages for the collective in March? Interesting. What's an important time frame when it comes to these messages? November. What's an important time frame when it comes to these messages? Next full moon, I told y'all. So the next full moon, when it comes to the time that I'm filming this. Let me see. Let me check it. Next new moon is at the bottom. So, let me see. The next full moon, we just had one in Scorpio. It's about to be May. The next new moon is May 8th. And the next full moon 
is May 23rd. So Gemini season for sure is significant. Could be a Gemini, but also November and March. So let me see. Then we have next new moon at the bottom. So think about May 8th to the 23rd. Very soon. Look at that. Let me take a screenshot because I forgot. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it feels a little sticky. This is a sticky situation, child. I feel like somebody has a lot of options. I also feel like someone feels like you have a lot of options. Or you have the potential to have a lot of options. And they kind of want to... It's like... It kind of feels like this person wants to hide how deeply they feel about you. Because I feel like they don't want you to... They don't want to feel disappointed. So what's significant about March? Two of Wands. Yeah, they... I feel like this person been thinking about this. This leap of faith. Telling you the truth. Being clear. Giving you the information that they've been thinking about. I feel like if you haven't met, like, okay, if you just met this person recently, because we're in April, we're about to be in May. If this person has been thinking about this since March and you're a new person coming into their life, whatever relationship or connection that they had with somebody, they were already thinking about leaving. So, you know, it kind of feels like someone who would be hurt could feel and I don't because I don't I want to be careful about how I say this because this could be somebody maybe deciding that they want to leave a connection with you so I don't want you to be hurt about it but what I do want you to understand is that somebody's mind was already made up take it how it resonates okay what's the November why is that significant tower so something unexpected is going to happen during scorpio season in november Mhm. Mm three of wands you can expect something shocking to happen in november during scorpio season either with a scorpio or a fire sign a scorpio or an aries strong scorpio and aries energy possibly um leo cancer pisces Hierophant is here, so possibly Taurus, Libra, maybe Virgo. Maybe Gemini, too. Let's take it out, resonates. Might be a different sign. What's this tower for November? King of Swords. Yeah, somebody's going to communicate something unexpectedly. Could be an air sign or a fire sign. Or a Scorpio. They're going to communicate something unexpectedly. Take this leap of faith. Mm, with the page of cups reaching out what's the two of wands right here nine of pentacles yeah i just feel like since march somebody has been thinking about being single like somebody you're dealing with is dealing with somebody else and they they ain't with it the star card and the king of cups I feel like somebody has even been like kind of hoping someone here has been hoping for you to come back around. What's this next full moon? Oh, wow. Y'all saw how that popped out? Two cards. Ooh, the star and the page of swords. Mm. Whoever this is, they're going to have to make a decision quick. Yep. The communication might be coming around May 8th to May 23rd. That's when they're going to communicate what they've been thinking, what they hope for, what they desire. But there's also communication coming in November. I don't know. What's this King of Swords doing? Okay, Knight of Swords. You might have more than one person, to be honest. Wow, Five of Wands, Ace of Swords. The truth is coming out about something in November.
You may have an argument or a fight with somebody that you don't see coming. Either with a Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Aries, Leo energy. What's the Knight of Swords with this King of Swords? Seven of Cups. Somebody's confusing when it comes to their communication. Five of Cups and the Justice card. We. Okay. What's this Page of Swords right here for this next full moon? Eight of Cups reverse. Somebody coming back around. You can expect for somebody to come back around. Be fighting for something. Who's this doing this Eight of Cups reverse with the Page of Swords star card during this next full moon? Emperor. Get the fuck out of here. So there's an Aries or a Taurus coming back around or somebody who's older than you, possibly somebody who is very prominent with their work or their position. Yeah, it feels like an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. So this emperor is taking action during this next full moon between May 8th and May 23rd. They're coming back around. They Their feelings either never left with the Eight of Cups reversed or they're starting to feel feelings again. And they're watching you or looking at you. They're watching your work. There's something new that you're doing that may have this person a little intimidated, but somebody wants to come towards you. But I feel like they're a little nervous. Okay. You got a couple of people. Let me tell y'all. Y'all got a couple of people in the mix. Y'all being mixy. Are y'all being mixy? Let's get a few more oracles. Then we're going to get advice. Okay. Y'all don't forget to like the video. Y'all being mixy. What's hidden? What's hidden from the collective when it comes to love in this situation? Oh, oh unfinished fucking business get out of here we still have things to resolve and discuss y'all was laughing in the comments when i made that voice that's funny <laughs> Ooh, and forgiveness i'm struggling to get over the past so maybe this person feels like you did something to them i kind of get this vibe where somebody from your past wants to come back to you but they're afraid to come back to you because the way that they feel about you is that you could leave them at any time but they also feel insecure, unworthy at the bottom, says you're a better person than I am and damaged. We are both hurting from this. So it could be a situation that hurt both of you. And you may not see that it hurt this person because they try to act. I feel like whoever this is, they're a runner. So being as they're a runner, they try to act like this stuff doesn't phase them. They try to act like they're unbothered. Yeah. Because you had the two of pinnacles, but they're realizing with the hangman, they're realizing they can't run. Like whoever this is, they know they can't keep running from their feelings or they know they can't keep running from like the situation. Because I feel like they know. They know that they feel this strong connection with you. You got the two of cups and the six of wands. And it's definitely somebody from your past. That's crazy. <laughs> I just feel like whoever this is, is trying to grapple with their feelings and their emotions. And they're scared. They're scared that you're going to play them. Or they're afraid that it's going to happen. Things are going to happen the same way as they happened before. What's hidden from the collective when it comes to love, spirit, bitch, soul contract. The lessons I learned from us will never be forgotten. So you made an impact on this person's life. What else is hidden from the collective? When it comes to this love situation space, I need more time to think. I told you, and there's the clock. So this person don't know what, they don't know what to do about you. All they know is that they feel strong pools of energy towards you. And they know that it's not over. Like they feel like it wasn't finished or it feels, it feels like they lack closure a little bit. Values. We have too many differences mm. and men. I want to fix our connection. They want to fix it, child. They want to fix it. But they just don't know if you guys are going to mesh well together. And I think if they're dealing with somebody else, they don't want to leave whoever they're dealing with to, like, come towards you. 
if it's not going to work out because they're not sure if it's going to work out, but they do want to call you. And they're trying not to. Like, this person really wants to reach out to you, but they're trying their hardest not to. What's forgiveness? The world and the strength card. Yeah, they're trying to leave the past in the past. Because y'all had some type of conflict or argument. But both of your points were valid. Like, I know you may feel like you had more valid points, but I feel like this person also had valid points too. And I'm not necessarily advocating for what they did, but with the justice card, that spirit's way of saying that it was fair. It was balanced. Like whatever you were mad at, you were right to be mad because they probably was fucking around doing some stupid shit. And at, but at the same time, whatever they were upset at, they have a right to be upset too. So it's just a matter of whether or not y'all can leave the past in the past. But they're struggling to leave the past in the past. What's the unfinished business? Oh, wow. I just dropped the whole deck. Temperance. Yep. They feel that strong bond. They feel like y'all are drawn together like magnets. Even though y'all haven't been talking, they've been dreaming. I feel like this person been dreaming about this relationship, either the one that they wanted to have with you or the one that you guys had. What's the temperance with unfinished business? Ace of Swords. They know you the one. Ace of Swords with the temperance, it's like you bring clarity to this person's life. Look, and then the Four of Swords again. They wake up out of their sleep, I feel like, having dreams about you, knowing that you're the one. But in their, that's their subconscious. In their conscience, they argue with themselves and they fight it. What's Soul Contract? Three of Swords. Yeah. This loss disappointed them. It was sad. Like when whatever whatever happened, whenever it happened, it hurt this person very deeply. I don't think this is somebody who I don't I don't know what they did exactly to you, so I'm not going to say they didn't do no wrong cuz somebody just screamed, but I think the reason that they're hiding this from you is because they don't know if they really want this. And they're trying to come up with a plan and they don't want you to read their mind cuz I feel like this person Whatever connection is that y'all have together, it really hurt them. Like, it really hurt them for a long period. Of like, they were sad for a long period of time. And I feel like they that's why they feel this unfinished business. Because there's a lot of sadness connected to the fact that you're not in this person's life. King of Wands, Eight of Swords, they think about it all the time. This person thinks about you all the time. They wake up out their sleep dreaming about you. What space? Ten of Wands. Yeah, it's hard for them, though. Like, I feel like it's hard for this person to be away from you. Yep, Knight of Wands, because they feel drawn to you. The calling is strong. Judgment and the Knight of Wands. They, they try to distract themselves with work so they don't think about you. What's the Ten of Wands with space? Oh, my God. What did I say? Ace of Cups, Three of Pentacles. They, but they think about you all the time. The Sun card. Could be a Leo. Could be an Aries. Could be a Sag. Strong fire energy. Could also be a Scorpio. I'm feeling also like Capricorn, maybe Gemini, Libra, Taurus, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer. I feel like they are happy with what they do for work. They work a lot because the eight of pentacles and the 10 of wands is here. I feel like they like their work, but I also feel that there's a part of them that's like doing a lot of work or pushing themselves really hard, trying to gain momentum because they don't necessarily like want to think about the fact that they're not going to come home to you at night or they're not going to be able to talk to you on the phone. I'm telling you, whoever this is, they do. This is, I feel like this is strongly someone from your past and they don't want to let it go. But if they don't reach out soon, which I feel like they will, if they reach out soon, it may be more casual. But if they 
keep it casual. I feel like by November, there may be somebody else like in your radar and they're going to tell like whoever this person is, they know when you're dealing with another person. What else is hidden from the collective when it comes to this situation? I'm at, ooh, I'm at a crossroads. Should I fight for this or move on? Relationships are a lot of work. Being single is easier. And they got that nine of cups right there. Yeah, so in March, they may have been single. Maybe you popped up on their mind or you popped up on their radar. This could also be someone finding out about you, like progressing in your career. Since you, like, since you guys have been separated or in, in a position of space, They've been working really hard, but I also feel like they're discovering that you've been working really hard too. Ooh, and at the bottom it says, I didn't know if my family was going to accept you. But yeah, they're trying to make a decision. I'm going, I told you, I'm going crazy without you. I want to see you so bad, child. What else is being hidden from the collective? <laughs> I look at my phone every day, hoping I would see a message from you, child. What else is being hidden from the collective? I don't care what people think anymore. I've been given bad advice. I'm listening to my intuition. I know you are the one. I told y'all. So maybe this person listened to their family or friends. Because the card did say that they weren't sure if their family was going to accept you. But family could mean like friends or comrades. They were listening to they were listening to people. And now they're tired of listening to bad advice. I fucked up. I fucked up. I don't know what to say to you or how to make this right. This isn't over. This isn't over. <laughs> the unfinished business. You haven't heard the last of me. We have unfinished business. Man. Somebody really feels like y'all got unfinished business. For sure. And I feel like it's getting harder and harder for this person not to say anything to you. Not to talk to you. But they're so worried about how different you guys are. They're not seeing how opposites attract. They're not seeing, I feel like they're starting to see it, but at, at a time, at a certain time, they were listening to other people. And I feel like whoever those other people were, were pointing out differences between the two of you and the things that were kind of like um, oil and water. And they just listened to those people or they listened to their insecurities to be like, oh, yeah, you might be right, you know, da, 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 da. But in their heart, they knew that's not really how they felt. So now that's why they feel like they have unfinished business with you. All right. So what's the advice overall for the collective when it comes to these messages? Reconsider. Ooh. Ooh, big happy changes, bitch. Stop. And yes. Okay. So I feel like. <laughs> I feel like spirit might want you to give this person another chance. Now, if they abused you and they were just narcissistic, literally, and like just tore you down in life, that's not what this is talking about. This is talking about a person from your past who was single more than likely. And they just, they weren't following. Like, it kind of feels like a person who you knew their heart and you knew their higher self because of the connection that you have and the abilities that you have. But they didn't see it and they fought it and they ran away. But now it's like they're seeing it. And I feel like if they step to you with a level of respect and understanding and accountability that you need to like understand that they're serious, I feel like you should give them a chance. At least that's what spirit is saying. If you want to, you don't have to do shit, but that's what spirit is saying. They're saying to reconsider. Okay. But I also feel like if you've already met someone new and you're in a good connection with somebody, mm, if your life has changed for the better since this person has been gone, mm, if you're kind of settled where you are and you have a relationship right now and this person is popping up having all these second thoughts and like, you know, wanting to reopen books that you've closed, mm, maybe you might want to reconsider like turning your life upside down. So you know where you stand. Take it how it resonates. I hope it helps you guys. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, donate to the GoFundMe. It's linked in the description box below if you can, so you can enter yourself into the raffle. And leave your hearts in the comments. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if it resonated, how it resonated, so I can know, like, kind of, you know, the energy of the reading and if I'm on point, you guys. But enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much. And that's it. That's all. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.